Okay, so the workflow that we're using for our, our yearbook classes, uh, you go take your pictures, you upload them to Google Drive. We've talked about that's the first step. I know you can upload them to Three Ring right away, and you're going to start wanting to do that now that I'm going to show you how to do it, upload to Three Ring. But in fact, I actually want you to always upload to Google Drive first anyways. That's our backup. That's for future references for their future years, etc. Okay? Just give me a second. I'm going to pause it here. They're so here you see our collaborative drive, okay? You have access to this one and this one. Right now I'm in our, our yearbook year. And I uploaded this morning some of the link pictures and I'm gonna do the rest now so you can see how it works. Well, maybe I won't, up, I'll only upload a couple just cause it takes a little bit of time actually. It takes like five minutes to upload a lot of pictures. So five to 10 minutes. So when you do it, you, you can't do it at the end of class. So. Now, I want to also remind you that when you upload a new set of pictures, always create a new folder if possible. Like example, if you're doing sports team, here's golf. If you're going to do volleyball, create a new folder. And how do you do that again? Click here, folder, or up here, folder. And then you name it, let's say it's volleyball. Excuse me, volleyball. That way the pictures are somewhat a little bit more organized. And the thing you're going to see is I have to also do that and whoever becomes the editor will have to do that in uh, three ring. Okay. Because there's actually folders there, but I'm going to go to the link and I'm going to download photos. Now we're at the second part of our workflow. So I've already taken my pictures. I uploaded them to Google drive. The second part is I want to upload them to three ring. Okay. So they're my pictures and normally if you're in charge of something, for example, if I said you're in charge of the link crew page, well, you're going to be making that link crew page, and usually that also means you got to upload the pictures. The good news is you can actually get several people working on a page, so you can everybody can say I'm going to work on the link crew page. So I'm going to I used, I think I used these this morning. Yeah, that's correct. And it's important that if you've uploaded pictures, that you do this. I'm going to change the name of the folder, rename. And I'm going to put, you know, uploaded. Or, you know, I think just uploaded is a good way to, for everybody to know. These have already been uploaded, so we don't have to worry anymore about uploading these, sir. And once something's been written uploaded, guess what? Do we put more pictures in there? No. Of course not. Make another folder. If for whatever reason, you made a mistake and you need to upload more, and you got new, create a new folder, all right? So if you need to call it opening day two, great. And the other thing that I'm going to talk to Aaron about and Tara is they're going to be helping me with the editing of pictures. So normally we're going to actually ask Aaron and Tara if they've actually tweaked those pictures or photoshopped them, if you want to call it, or Lightroom touched up. Or uh, So I'll talk to them another day about that, all right? So for now, um, I'm going to go over here and I'm only going to upload one. So I'm not going to put the upload things. It's just for practice, just to show you how it goes. So normally, uh, if I want to, I'm going to do more than one picture just so you can see how it works. And so I usually would, you see over here, there's more than one view in Google drive. This is what I usually ask you guys to look at because you can see the pictures and sort them out, but it's also this view. So if I click over here, this would pick all the pictures. In this case, I'm only going to pick two. And what you're going to notice is once you have more than one pictures and you download them, it'll ask you to zip them. Okay? And that's normal. You have no choice but to go ahead and do that. Okay? Email when ready. I'm going to just not when click Elspeth that. Elspeth Carpenter, please come to the main office. Zipping Elspeth complete. Carpenter, please Close. come to the main office. See where the picture goes? It goes down here, guys. So now you have to wait for it to be done, and it's probably done. I'll click open when done. There's a lot of steps here, and this video is going to be posted somewhere on the website for yearbook, so that way you can go and watch it several times so you can learn how to do it. Um, okay, where did it go? If ever it disappears, you can go to downloads through here. All right, so it's slowly opening. My computer is a little slow. So there they are. The thing is, they're still in the zip folder. And how do I know? If you look over here and I try to look at them, you can't see them. Normally you see the picture, right, when you do that? So what I need to do is either click Control A. So I click on it, Control A will pick them all. Control C, 
And it, for you guys, what you will do is you will go to your D drive, right? Remember I told you guys all the school computers have a D drive? And uh, maybe make a new folder here. Right click. This is on your D drive. And most of you should be using the same computer every day. Uh, so the new folder, let's say it's your name. So Mr. D. And you don't delete anything on that D drive because my other Comtech students and so on, they have stuff. Now, now it's been unzipped. And by the way, what is zipping? Zipping is something where it shrinks large files so they don't take up as much room on your hard drive. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's why they're zipped. So you unzip them and n n then they're in normal form. So if I go look, oh, they're in normal form. Perfect. Now I go to three ring. Okay? And all of you will have access to upload pictures. So there's a couple of ways to upload pictures. I'm going to just show you one now. So I'm going to click photos. So I'm going to go and add some photos. Uh, I'm going to click add photos from my computer. I'm going to go a little slower here. Click here. These are my pictures that I've uploaded. All right. And here are, I'm going to click add photos. I'm going to click my computer. I'm going to go to, I don't even remember, I put them on the D drive, right? Mr. D. Yeah, Mr. D. Again, click on one, control A, which means select all. So if you had 50, you'd pick them all. It's way easier. Okay, remember that, control A. You usually have to pick one, and then once you click one, you click control A, picks them all. Click open. Now here, this is really important. Okay, this window is really important. Now, choose a folder to organize your image. Now, these are all yours. This belongs only to you. So if you only upload here, nobody else in the class can see it. And often, I kind of like it's uploaded in a way where everybody sees it. Okay, guys? So if ever you don't, this is Link Crew. So I already created this folder. And you notice it's over here, Link Crew. So I'm going to go and leave it this way. If you were creating like volleyball or something, you could create uh, a new folder called volleyball. But here's what's more important. I want you to share this. And if there's not, if this folder is not created, you either ask me or whoever becomes the uh, editor. And last year I ended up having like three or four editors by the end of the year. Okay. One person was the main, main editor. And what that person gets is they can do more stuff with the uh, tree ring software that allows them to edit the, the web pages and sorry, not the web page, but the yearbook. Okay. And if you notice here, like, Editors only. What do you think that does? When I upload the pictures, what do you think that's going to do, guys? Who's going to see it? Only the yearbook class. That's who. So if you pick like this category, the, the whole school sees it. So anybody who's got an account sees the pictures. I don't mind if you share it that way, I suppose. But usually I like having them in organized folders. Okay? So I'm going to go and say link crew. And then I'm going to click next and it's going to upload them. All right. And who's in this photo? If you know, you can do it. Uh, I didn't spend that much time on that last year because there's, there's just so much to do. If ever your screen doesn't fit, press control minus or it doesn't seem to work with this. Just scroll down here and you have to click finish. Okay. So there are my two link pictures. Now I did a whole bunch of them earlier. I'm not sure where they went. See here, shared folders. Let's click over here. Now I uploaded some for link. Did they not work? Wow, they didn't work. That's lovely. Probably because I ended up leaving. Oh no, they did work. So all these photos are in link group. So where are the photos? They're in the shared folders. We're going to always try and upload folders. To sh and the reason why I want it to be in a shared folder is because what happened last year is what, like we had a thing where a girl was responsible for volleyball page. The deadline was the next day. She still hadn't done them. She didn't upload them in the shared folder. It was a lot of trouble. So whenever you upload stuff to 3Ring, you also upload it so that everybody can sh see it anyways, in case sometimes somebody needs a picture. And the good thing about 3Ring is it kind of has like a, a artificial intelligence. If a picture's been used, the, the, the program knows. So if you go and add a second picture and it says, this picture's already been used, well, don't use it again, okay, guys? Only use the same picture once. Uh, like 
Our goal is to have as many pictures as possible, and uh, that's what we're going to aim for. But we don't want to use the same pictures more than once, okay? So I'm going to just uh, get out of here, okay? How do I get out of here? So I'm going to go back to the dashboard. Oops, that's actually the wrong thing here. Um, I don't want to add folders. I just want to work on the yearbook folders. Let me pause this. So to go to the main page, you just click on the logo. And here you see our yearbook for this year. Click on the edit tab. So, so far we haven't really done anything, okay? Well, what I have done is I have created a page for all of you to play around with today. Now, mind you, this could become a real page later. So what you have to do is find a page where your name or you and another person can edit it, okay? And what I'm going to ask you guys to do today is, uh, well, maybe edit a page, okay? And how do you do that? You go click here, and you're going to pretend it's the uh, link page. And I know somebody's actually going to end up working on this at some point. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Van asked if we could do a page blank for summer. Oh, yeah, for sure. So they, here's, here's all your fo photos, and if I'm looking for... Uh, the school folders are my photo. Um, so there they are. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I can actually click and just drag this in here, okay? And it's kind of really useful because there's a lot of stuff you can do. I can uh, change the frame, you know, make it thicker, whatever. And that's kind of what I want you guys to do today is experiment a little bit. Because we're going to make our own layouts. Uh, you can add, uh, change the shape. Look at all the shapes you can, like we ended up using a lot of these type of shapes last year. And if you look over here, like you can even use this shape. So we can make like really cool effects. Uh, you can even like find a shape that's a number. Like I'll let you play around with this. Like it's going to look dumb if I, I do the number thing here. <laughs> but like, you know, like you can get really creative, which is what I really like. So what I'm going to ask you to do now, I'm going to, I'm going to make another video on uh, this later, but and if you're done, I just want you to see here. The other thing that's cool is you can do this. Mr. Stone, would okay. you contact the main office, please? Uh, Mr. Stone, the other thing you can do is this office. zoom. Here to join you and the, see, uh, you can actually you zoom on a picture school. and move it around like this. That's really useful because sometimes the picture, and the only thing that will show up in the final yearbook is this. You get it, guys? Okay. Mr. Ward, please call uh, the main office. You can rotate, you can adjust, you can add some effects like a shadow. Look at what the shadow will do. I'll make a big, you see that shadow going on in the background? Yeah. Doesn't that look cool? Like it looks so much cooler at the end. So here's what we're doing. I'm going to finish this video.